Oymeka spoke today at industrial area where three trucks were now ferrying illegal fuel and four suspects arrested. Oymeka now says that the crackdown will continue until all illegal dealers are arrested. 16 people have been arrested for operating illegal petroleum refilling centers. Police say they seized 14,000 liters of petrol, five vehicles, and other equipment used in conducting the business in the operation. Officials from ERC, led by Pavel Oymek, had apparently marked the premises as illegal before teams of detectives from Special Crimes Prevention Unit raided it today. We are very much on top of things to make sure that anyone who tries any illegal activity, we close them down. It's a concern because, you know, these guys want to make quick money. The scrupulous businessmen want to make quick money, and they don't care whether the law is there or not. But what I'm saying, my warning to them is that we'll, we're catching up on them. We're catching up on We have closed quite a number. A number of sites have been closed. And still, there is people who still want to go behind the law. What we are saying is that you cannot operate. You cannot operate in this country. ERC regulates the electrical energy, petroleum and related products, renewable energy and other forms of energy. It has come under criticism for doing little in taming the business in the country and posing danger. The suspects are expected in court. Police say the operation on illegal petroleum siphoning crackdown is ongoing. Uh, typically these tankers go to the depots, they load fuel. And uh, once they load the fuel, they divert it here. When it comes here, there is a lot of mixing that they do. Sometimes they mix uh, lubricants with the oil, which they sell as uh, diesel, heavy fuel oil for the industries. So basically, they are trying to make value, get more money from a low product. And as I mentioned, the impact is that uh, it leads to air pollution, it spoils the engine of vehicles, or even uh, the owners who run industries who are going to use this fuel. They are not going to get that uh, heating value out of it. So in essence, it's a way of conning Kenyans of their money. It's not value for money when you get adulterated fuel, for you as a consumer and for you as a user. This comes in the wake of revelations that there were many filling stations operating in the area illegally. ERC officials have, however, been complaining of the mushrooming of such illegal yards. And